it's Hyper Halloween. Well, it was bound to happen. Here's a movie about a haunted meme. I hope you're all happy. (laughs) While I'm sort of joking about that, Halloween Party, the subject of today's review, is actually pretty good as far as B-horror films go. The story revolves around a meme that spreads across a college campus. If people that receive the meme don't answer a simple question, they die. I know, it's a silly premise, but trust me, the story is actually pretty interesting. The meme in question is called Halloween Party, and as I mentioned earlier, it asks its victims one simple question. What are you afraid of? If they don't answer the question honestly, they are killed by the thing they're most afraid of. Let's talk about the story a bit. The movie begins with friends Grayson and Zoe hanging out in a college dorm, and it establishes the meme pretty quickly. The meme itself is nothing scary. It looks like it was quickly made in MS Paint and uses Halloween clip art. Grace and Zoe both get the meme sent to them. Grace answers it, but Zoe doesn't. We learn that Grace's biggest fear is vagina spiders, and hey, that does sound pretty awful. And we also learn that... And we also learn that Zoe's fear is pig people. But Zoe doesn't respond to the meme, so viewers get to see what happens when the meme is ignored. Three weeks pass after Zoe's death, and Grace is still pretty distraught. Grace enlists the help of a local computer science major to help figure out the origin of the meme virus. Dylan is the local computer guru, and he's amazed by the complexity of this meme, and Miss Paint and all. Grace and Dylan search Zoe's room to investigate Zoe's laptop. As one can imagine, the meme does pop up, and the duo try to track it. A frat neighbor named Bubbles pops in and gets the meme as well. Bubbles is unable to answer the meme, so he's next to go. Dylan ultimately ends up uncovering that the meme forwards itself when someone completes it. So, it's more like a virus than a meme. But, eh, whatever. Dylan also discovers that runes and demons are associated with this meme. At the risk of prolonging this review... I'll summarize the rest of the plot. Grace and Dylan discover that Zoe's room is connected to the meme via runes in the floor. Grace almost gets the meme again. The duo discovers that the college house was originally part of a hospital, specifically a hospital for terminally ill children. And I won't spoil the rest in case you're interested in watching. The scares in Halloween Party range from good to downright goofy. There are some pretty decent in-your-face scares that are generally creepy, while others are more comical with strange face distortions. The latter scares lend to the comedy portion of the film, and same can really be said about the jokes. Some are pretty funny, but other times the joke feels like unnecessary banter. I will mention that there is a running gag through the film that's actually pretty funny. I already mentioned that Grace is afraid of vagina spiders. Dylan says that he's afraid of bears. It's mentioned a few times, and the banter always got a chuckle out of me. The best part? There's actually a payoff at the end with both scares, and it's glorious. The movie also gets meta at times throughout the film by referencing 80s movies and comparing it to the current situation. It's certainly a bad thing to reference other movies, but it works here given the film's comedic tone. One last thing I'll mention are the effects. I mentioned the scares range from good to goofy, but so do the effects. If a ghost or meme monster isn't wearing a mask, then they typically make a silly face and or have their face distorted. It isn't really that scary, but it makes me laugh and it does fit with the feel of the movie. Honestly, I could see this becoming a cult hit in years to come. So, what are you afraid of? Answer down in the comments or the Halloween party may come for you.